What's up guys, welcome back to another video, Alex here, and today I want to go over and show you guys some Galaxy notification settings on your phone that you might not know that's really going to improve the experience of using your phone, especially when it comes to notifications. And the first thing we're going to do is change our vibration settings between our phone calls and notifications. So we're going to go into our phone's settings and then go to sound and vibration and you'll see two options here for ringtone and notification sound. So what we can do here is change the vibration pattern for ringtones and notifications. And this is really useful if you're anything like me and you keep your phone muted and you don't actually hear your notifications. This is a good way to tell whether you're getting a phone call or just a notification like a text message, email, or anything else. So the first thing you wanna do is tap into ringtone and then make sure you enable vibrate while ringing, then tap into here. And then you'll have this entire list of all the different vibration patterns. I like the telephone one, so I selected that. But go ahead and pick whichever one you like. And then up here, you can also change the vibration intensity. But next, what we're going to do is go back and then go to our notification sounds and do the exact same thing. You're going to tap on vibration pattern here and then go through this list and select whichever vibration pattern you like for your notifications. And then again, also, you can change the vibration intensity in here. So go ahead and do that. Again, this is really useful if you keep your phone muted and you don't actually hear your um, ringtones. This is a good way to be able to tell whether you're getting a phone call or just a notification. And then next, what we're going to do is change another setting that goes really well with this one. If you keep your phone muted like I do, what you want to do is go back into your settings, then scroll down to accessibility then go to oops go to advanced settings and then here you'll see an option for flash notification this will flash your camera's flash on and off to show you visually that you're getting a phone call so maybe you're listening to music or you're far away from your phone and you can't hear it or feel the vibration you'll be able to see it because your flash will be turning on and off and you'll know you're getting a phone call or a notification all right guys the next thing we're going to do is go back into our phone settings this time we're going to go to our notification settings we're going to go to advanced settings and then in here you'll see notification reminders this is disabled by default but if you enable it what it will do is send you a reminder for any missed notifications and you can set a specific amount of time of how long you want to wait to get that reminder so you can go as low as every three minutes five minutes ten minutes or 15 minutes. So if I get a missed notification, my phone will remind me in 15 minutes that, hey, I have a missed call or missed notification that I might want to check on. And then you can also go into here to app uh, apps to get reminders for and select which apps you actually want to get these reminders for. Now, personally, I have this just for my messages and uh, my phone call, no other applications, because I actually like to use another method to set reminders for any of my other applications or other um, messaging services like WhatsApp or Telegram. So what you can do is go back to your advanced settings and you'll see an option here that says show snooze button. Now this one is also disabled by default, but I would suggest you enable it because now what you can do is anytime you get a notification, you can swipe down on it and you'll see a little bell icon that you can tap to set a reminder. So you can snooze the notification and then get reminded about it after a certain amount of time. And then up here, we also have notification history. So this one is really useful if you ever accidentally swipe away a notification and you didn't get to catch what that notification was, what it said or who it came from. Notification history is the only way that you can go back and check on those missed notifications. All right, next, we're going to go back into our advanced settings under notifications, and we're going to go to this floating notification section here. And you have a choice between bubbles and smart pop up view. And I really like this because I keep this in bubbles. And what this will do is let's say I am browsing the net or I'm on social media or doing something important and somebody sends me a text message. I can open up that text message in a bubble view and it will open up as a layer on top of what I was doing. So I don't need to leave whatever application I was working on. My text message will just open up in bubble view on top of whatever I was working on. And then I can interact with that person. I can reply to them, send whatever message I need, and then minimize that conversation into a bubble and keep it floating on top of whatever I was working on. And if I ever need to go back and message them, I can quickly open up that bubble again talk to them and then close it again without ever leaving the application that I was working on. And it is a really, really convenient way to be able to interact with people without having to leave the application that you're working in. All right, guys, now the next thing I'm going to show you to do is really cool. I'm going to show you how to create separate notification alerts on an app by app basis. So let's take Twitter, for example. What we can do is long press on Twitter and then tap on this information circle right here. And then in here, you'll see notifications. You want to tap on that. 
then go down to notification categories. And in here, you'll see all of the different categories of alerts that you can get from Twitter. So let's say you want to set a certain uh, notification pattern or sound for direct messages. So if you get a direct message in Twitter, what you can do is tap into here, then you can change the sound or the vibration. So we'll go to sound first. And let's say you want, you know, to set this uh, Aurora sound. So now every time you get a DM in Twitter, it will play this specific sound and you'll know right away by just this audio cue that this was a DM from Twitter. You can also do this in other apps. So let's take uh, WhatsApp, for example, we're going to long press that tap on the information circle right there. Again, we're going to go to notifications. We're going to go to notification categories. And then in here, let's say we want to set a unique sound for message notification. So anytime we get a message from WhatsApp, we can go to sound and then set a specific uh, sound for WhatsApp messages. So let's pick this comic one. And there you go. Now, anytime we hear this comic sound, we know that we got a message from WhatsApp. It's definitely a really, really useful feature for you to just be able to distinguish between separate applications by the sound of the alert that you're getting. All right, guys. Now, the last setting I want to show you is a Samsung exclusive feature, and I really like this one, and it is disabled by default. So a lot of people don't even have this enabled. But what you want to do is go into your phone settings, go to notifications, and then tap on notification pop up style, and make sure you set this to brief. If you set this to detailed, this won't work. But if you set it to brief, you'll see these options down here. And what you can do is create edge lighting style. So we'll tap into here. And again, this is disabled by default. So if it's your first time in here, you'll have it set to none. But what you can do is go into here and and select whichever uh, edge lighting style that you like. And you can see how it's going to illuminate the edges of your screen to show you that there is a notification coming in. And you can even go into here and select a specific color, or you can go to this advanced tab and you can change the duration of this edge lighting if you want it to show for a long time. And you can change even the width of it. So if you really like these thick lines, or if you want it to be a little bit more subtle, you can make it smaller, or you can even change the transparency of it. So go ahead and play with this. And what's amazing about this and what makes this really powerful is if we tap done, you can go to the section called color by keyword and you can see that I have a few filters here. And what this will do is give me a different edge lighting color depending on where I'm getting the notification from. So you can see if I get a message from Telegram, my edge lighting will be blue to match the color of Telegram. If I get a message from WhatsApp, my edge lighting will be green to match the color of WhatsApp. And what's amazing about this is you can even set this on a contact level. So you can see I have certain contacts in here like Lana, anytime I get a message from her, no matter if it's on Telegram, messages, WhatsApp or anywhere, it will be a purple edge lighting. And then I got a few other contacts in here. So it's really, really powerful just to give you that visual cue of exactly what kind of notification you're getting and where it's coming from. And to set this up, it's really simple. Just go into this uh, text box right here and then start typing the name of your contact. So let's say we have a contact named cat. We can just type cat into here and then tap, tap done. And then we can tap on the color wheel here and set a uh, unique color for this contact. So let's just do uh, orange, tap done. And now you can see anytime we get a message from this contact, our edge lighting will be orange. So we'll be able to tell exactly who it's coming from. But there you go, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for future videos to come, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.